ever heard of hibiscus or rose flowers? Of course, they are beautiful to behold. Do you know they are natural flowers? Yes, they are. However, we also have man-made or artificial flowers. In fact, you can make a flower at home using a foam paper, cutter, cardboard, gum, thin metal wire, net cloth, and flower tape. You should try that out. Like the artificial flower, we also have the synthetic petrol. It is made from materials such as coal, coke, and hydrogen, which do not occur in crude petroleum. When powdered coal is heated with hydrogen in the presence of iron or tin as the catalyst, at 500 degrees Celsius and 20 atmospheric pressure, it is converted into an oily mixture of hydrocarbons. When steam is passed over heated coke at 100 degrees Celsius, a mixture containing equal volumes of carbon-2 oxide and hydrogen, known as water gas, is obtained, which can be hydrogenated to a mixture of hydrocarbons. Wow, interesting. So we have learned that there is a type of petrol called synthetic petrol, it is made from materials such as coal, coke, and hydrogen, which do not occur in crude petroleum. Synthetic petroleum can be gotten from two sources. When powdered coal is heated with hydrogen in the presence of iron or tin as the catalyst at 500 degrees Celsius and 20 atmospheric pressure, it is converted into an oily mixture of hydrocarbons. The mixture is separated by distillation into a petrol fraction boiling at 200 degrees Celsius and heavy oil residue which can be heat further heated with fresh coal to obtain more petrol. Secondly, when steam is passed over heated coke at 100 degrees Celsius, a mixture containing equal volumes of CO and hydrogen known as water gas is obtained. So you have the equation C plus water to give you water gas. The water gas can be hydrogenated to a mixture of hydrocarbons by hydrogen, hydrogen and passing it over finely heated nickel catalyst at 200 degrees Celsius. About half of the product is petrol, the less volatile fraction being used as fuel for diesel engines. I'm sure you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next.